Hey, welcome to Data with Zach. On this channel, I help demystify data and software careers through educational videos. This video is about Scala. Should data engineers learn this language? It's not really a clear yes or no answer, so let's dive into the details. Apache Spark, which is one of the hottest technologies in data engineering right now, is really what brought Scala into the forefront at all. Before that, Scala was just not a language that was really used at all by data engineers. There's some pretty strong arguments for learning it. I think one of the big ones is a lot of the big tech companies like Netflix and Airbnb, they really have a strong bet on Scala and they write a lot of pipelines in Scala. So those companies will have a strong need for data engineers who know Scala. Another one is Scala is a type safe language, whereas Python is not. Um, that type safety provides an extra layer of protection that I think is very powerful. Another one is Spark is actually native in Scala. So writing Spark jobs in Scala is the native way of writing it. So that's the way that Spark is the most likely to understand your job and it's not gonna be as buggy. Uh, the last one is uh, the most important I think for learning Scala is it allows data engineers to adopt a software engineering mindset. So you're not just writing a SQL pipeline and then once it runs once, it's now done. You have to think about other things like unit testing and integration testing and continuous integration and how we can make pipelines that kind of yell when they get broken so that like you can have a lot higher quality pipelines that don't just fail in production. The, that being said, I think there's also some pretty strong arguments against learning Scala. Uh, I'd say the biggest one is that it's hard to learn and that um, it's not very adopted. Uh, there's only about 10% of jobs really require Scala at all, 10% uh, of DE jobs. And I think that uh, that's a pretty strong minus. Like uh, if you were targeting the 90%, then that's, then there you go. Um, another strong argument is that PySpark. PySpark is actually more adopted than Scala Spark, even though Scala, Spark is written natively in Scala, PySpark is still the bigger adoption by a lot. So I really think that it boils down to this. Like if you are targeting a big tech company like Netflix or Airbnb, where you want to learn like how to do software engineering and data engineering together, that's a good argument for learning Scala. Otherwise, it's probably a waste of time and won't provide very much value for you on your job. Anyways, thanks for watching this video and I hope you like, comment, subscribe.